Ships at Tianjin Dock sound their horns as ceremonies were held for the victims of last week's explosions at a chemical warehouse in the Chinese port. It's been revealed that the owners didn't have the necessary permit to store dangerous products until two months before the blasts. Investigators haven't determined the cause. Residents are afraid about pollution. We've told everyone to take precautions. For example, if they're going back to get possessions from their homes, they need to wear long tops and long trousers, hard-soled shoes and masks. Staff at the hospital where most of the 700 injured are being treated held their own ceremony. While over 100 people were killed, another 70 are still missing. There are fears that heavy rain could spread some of the vast quantities of hazardous material. High levels of cyanide have been found in water tested at the site and the authorities are concerned. The chief engineer of the Tianjin Environmental Bureau said, With regards to the safety levels, in total there are 29 cyanide inspection sites. Of them, eight exceeded safety levels. All were within the blast site. The largest reading was 28 times over the recommended safety standard. Near the hospital, a protest was held by people demanding compensation from the government. The ruling Communist Party's anti-corruption watchdog says the government official responsible for work safety has been put under investigation.